Hello, this is numbers lesson four. In this, I will discuss division theorem and remainder. Now, division theorem is a very fundamental concept in number. For example, if you want to divide thirty-seven by seven, can you say seven five zero thirty-five? The remainder is two. How to write this? Thirty-seven can be written as seven into five plus two. This is the number is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. That is the basic division theorem. Number is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Here seven is the divisor, five is the quotient, and r is the remainder. In short form, we can write like this: n is equal to d into q plus r. Number is always equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Another very important concept in this that number minus remainder. What will be this? D into q plus r minus r. This will be equal to d into q. Very important number minus remainder is always a multiple of divisor, or you can say that number minus remainder always will always be divisible by will always be divisible by divisor. Number minus remainder will always be divisible by divisor. Here you can see this: thirty-seven was number minus two remainder, that is thirty-five. This is divisible by you can say that seven. Another example I am taking. For example, forty-seven. If you divide by let's say nine, nine five is a forty-five. The remainder is two. Now number minus remainder, forty-seven minus two, forty-five. This is divisible by divisor that is nine. So very important concept in number basic division theorem is this: number minus remainder is always divisible by divisor. And the basic concept you must know that number is always equal to divisor. Into quotient plus remainder. Now let's discuss what kind of question used to come on uh, remainder basic division theorem. Question says that a number n when divided by one thirty six. A number n when divided by this number n when divided by one thirty six. The remainder is twenty seven. The same number n when divided by seventeen. What will be the remainder? I have cut short the question into simplest form. Now you need to find the remainder. Try to solve yourself. Then look at the way I have solved. Now we know that number can be written as divisor into quotient plus remainder. Number is n, divisor is one thirty six, quotient we don't know. Let's say q, and remainder is twenty seven. So this this is our number one thirty six q plus twenty seven. Now what the question says that n divided by seventeen, what will be the remainder? Now put the value of n one thirty six into q plus twenty seven by seventeen. Now I need to find the remainder of this. Now one thirty six is completely divisible by seventeen. So for this part, the remainder would be zero. Can I say that one thirty six q by seventeen plus twenty seven by seventeen? Here the remainder is zero because one thirty six is completely divisible by seventeen. So remainder would be zero. Here twenty seven by seven, the remainder would be ten. So final remainder would be zero plus ten. You can add the remainder. That will give you the final remainder. So zero plus ten, the final remainder would be ten. So ten will be your final answer. This is because one thirty six is completely divisible by seventeen. Seventeen eight is a one thirty six. Question two is a number n when divided by ninety one give you remainder as seven. N square plus five divided by thirteen. What will be the remainder? This is the question. Now you should first try to solve yourself. Then look at the way I have solved. Now, how can we write this? Number is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So, divisor is ninety one, quotient is q, remainder is seven. Number is divisor into quotient plus remainder. Now, what the question says that n square plus five when divided by thirteen. We will first find the n square. Ninety one q plus seven whole square. Put the value of n plus five divided by thirteen. What will be the remainder? Now, we can find the remainder. What is a plus b square? This is ninety one into q square plus seven square plus twice into seven into ninety one q plus five by thirteen. Now need to find the remainders. Now ninety one is completely divisible by thirteen, so here the remainder would be zero. In this case, the remainder would be zero. Ninety one is completely divisible by thirteen. Seven square by thirteen. Seven square is forty nine. Forty-nine by thirteen. What is the remainder? We can add these kind of remainder like this. Forty-nine by thirteen. Nine thirteen threes are thirty-nine. 
remainder is 10 in this case 49 by 13 remainder would be 10 now 2 into 7 into 13 this is also divisible the remainder is 0 this complete 2 into 7 into 91 because 91 is completely divisible by 13 so this number is completely divisible by 13 no remainder and re remainder 5 by 13 remainder would be 5 you can add this kind of remainder so total would be 10 plus 0 plus 10 plus 0 plus 5 by 13 again we are getting 15 by 13 the remainder would be how much 2 so final answer the final remainder would be 2 you can add the remainders like this there is no issue like this only thing you have to do you have to keep the sign of positive and product added as it is so our answer is 2 now question 3 is very very important question this is a medium difficulty level question a number n when divided by 13 the remainder is 11 the same number n when divided by 7 the remainder is 5 we need to find the minimum value of n and the maximum value of n given that n is a three digit number now how to solve this we know that number is divisor into quotient plus remainder the only concept we are using this number is divisor into quotient plus remainder now first from first n would be how much 13 is the divisor let's say q is the quotient plus remainder is 11 this is the number now what the question says that the same number n divided by 7 put the value of n 13 q plus 11 by 7 now the remainder is we know that remainder is equals to 5 13 q plus 11 this was a number because we put the, the same number is there in both the cases the number is same n number value is 13 into q plus 11 this divided by 7 the remainder is 5 now i told you in the first slide number minus remainder very important number minus remainder n minus r is always divisible by divisor always divisible by divisor d so number minus remainder can i say 13 q plus 11 is my number minus remainder minus 5 so 13 q plus 6 this will be divisible by divisor that is 7 very important number minus remainder 13 q plus 11 minus 5 13 q plus 6 will be divisible by 7 now what will be the minimum value of q that you have to search now q is the quotient quotient can be 0 you have to check where it will be divisible by 7 q is equal to 0 you get 6 6 6 not dividible by 7 q is equal to 1 13 into 1 plus 6 19 will not divisible by 7 so q can't be 1 q can't be 0 what about q is equal to 2 13 into 2 26 plus 6 32 not there you have to check fast q is equal to 3 13 into 3 39 plus 6 45 not divisible q is equal to 4 13 4 is 52 plus 6 58 not divisible q is equal to 5 13 5 is 65 plus 6 not divisible q is equal to 6 13 6 is 78 plus 6 84 this is divisible by 7 if you put q is equal to 6 so 13 6 is 78 plus 6 84 is divisible by 7 so minimum value of q would be we got the minimum value of q. q q minimum value quotient minimum value we got is 6 so we, we will get our first minimum number our number was n our number was n this is equal to 13 this is this was our actual number now we got the value of q as 6 put the value of q as 6 so 13 into 6 plus 11 78 plus 11 89 will be our minimum number very important so our minimum number answer would be 89 this is how we have to find so better method is and the simplest method is take n is equal to divisible by 13 remainder is 11 13 q plus 11 the same number n divided by 7 the remainder is 5 apply the concept number minus remainder is divisible by divisor so 13 q plus 6 is divisible by 7 try the val few values of q you will get the minimum value of q is 6 put the value you will get the minimum number and how to find the large numbers the large numbers more than that is 18 9 that was a minimum number the large number would be minimum number that is 89 plus k times the lcm of divisor d1 and d2 lcm of divisor so can i say larger number would be 89 was a minimum number plus k time lcm of 
नंबर्स आर थर्टीन एंड सेवन एट्टी नाइन प्लस के टाइम्स एल सी एम इज नाइन्टी थर्टीन सेवन एल सी एम नाइन्टी वन सो नंबर वुड बी ऑफ द फॉर्म नाइन्टी वन के प्लस एटी नाइन दिस दिस विल बी द नंबर दैट विल सेटिस्फाई द कंडीशन दैट नंबर डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टीन शुड गिव यू रिमाइंडर इलेवन बाय सेवन नंबर रिमाइंडर इज फाइव नाउ यू कैन फाइंड द larger numbers so 91k that was the numbers so we need to find the maximum value three digit number so number is 91k plus 89 you if you divide this number by 13 if you divide this number by 13 the remainder would be 11 if you divide this number by 7 the remainder is 5 because 91k is divisible 89 will satisfy this criteria so the, this is a way to find the larger numbers now we need to find the three digit number n is maximum given that n is a three digit number three digit number so straight away i can hit and trial can i put the value of k as 10 910 plus 89 yes i can put k is equals to 10 straight away hit and trial k is equals to 10 so number would be how much maximum number three digit number would be 91 into 10 910 plus 89 999 will be the largest three digit number There will be more number, four-digit number, five-digit number. There will be infinite number, but maximum three-digit number would be nine ninety-nine. So that will satisfy the condition, and that will be our final answer. So nine ninety-nine will be our final answer. This kind of questions are explained in the most difficult way in books. So I told you the simplest method. This is a difficult question, but the concept is simple. You don't have to cram the thing. so that was all about numbers lesson 4 in this i have discussed the division theorem and its application and how to find the remainder using the division theorem thank you